It might not look like much, but this bag carries my life in it. Not literally my, that would, I don't know how that would look, but. The contents of this bag and the bag itself, very important to me. We're going to have a look at all of the contents in my bag that I obsessively carry with me literally everywhere. Not literally everywhere. I keep second guessing everything I say. It's because I say stupid things. Let's get started. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and today we're going to go through my bag. Now I know what you're thinking, Jazza, you're really running short of ideas, aren't you? What? <laughs> And to you I say, no, you silly duffer. It's important that we share our tips and tricks to function in daily life, one artist to another. Now I know what else you're thinking, Jazza, hurry up and open the friggin' bag. Okay, fair enough, good point. Obviously there are gonna be a lot of different products and things that I use in this. This is not sponsored by anyone. Starting off with the big pocket, oh. <laughs> This is my new I'm an adult shirt, now available on Teespring. I'll put the link to that in the description. I have a whole bunch of new designs, new colors. They're all so bright and colorful. I'm wearing the, uh, the Choose Wisely. I thought that was appropriate for this video because art materials and check it out. Links in the description, support to the channel. First things first, I have this laptop. It's a gaming laptop. It is the Predator. I forgot what it was until I read the name of the laptop. I don't know what specs are. I think it has a 1060 GPU. I was very specific about that because I wanted something that could run virtual reality. I don't have a Windows Mixed Reality headset, but the plan is eventually I'll be able to run VR off of this thing or whatever laptop I have at the time. But the point is I wanted a high end or decent enough laptop that I can take with me on the go and do editing in Premiere, work in Photoshop, a whole bunch of different more complex things that are very demanding. So this thing doesn't have the best battery life in the world, two hours or so, but it's a bit of a beast and it handles everything I throw at it and it's really useful and I carry it with me everywhere. So next, of course, I'm not just a YouTuber, I'm an artist and I carry with me traditional art supplies, but of course I have to fit so much in this bag. I have learnt over time to really economize how I use the space. I go everywhere with my bag and I actually have ever since I was quite young. My mum reminded me a few weeks back that when I was a child, I had a little pencil case and backpack that had all my drawing stuff in it. If we were going somewhere as a family and I didn't have my pencil case and backpack with me, I was not going. I was like, well, I need my things. And that's, that, that hasn't changed at all. So pencil case, when you open it, it falls out flat and everything is nicely uh, displayed there. And I have very specific tools that I use for all of my illustrations. Obviously no color materials. I can't carry a whole bunch of Copics with me everywhere. But there's enough here to do some really refined illustration if I need to. You got your range of fine liners here from 0.05 to 0.8. So there's uh, four sort of fairly stepped apart. There's a Sharpie, there's a brush pen, there's a calligraphy pen, and just another sort of slightly thick fine liner. Double-sided pencil for different construction sketching, just because why carry two pencils when you can carry one? Then there's my Pentel P205. This is my go-to mechanical pencil. It's a beauty. I've used it for the last six years. Fits perfectly in your hand. It's durable. It's just really good quality. And then this is just a Stillman and Burn sketchbook. This is their soft cover. It's really thin, but it's got great paper quality and it's one of the things that I brainstorm in. Oh, and these are my shirt design sketches. This is the conception of the I'm an adult shirt. So that's my traditional art stuff. Then we have this thing. This is the Huey on... This is the Huey on Canvas Pro 13 tablet. This thing is amazing, especially if I'm working in hotel rooms and all this stuff, it's really light to take on the go. And as you can see, it's very thin, so it fits in there as if it's not there. This allows me to work on art high tier on the go as I'm traveling, but also work in the way and in the layout and workspace that I'm used to. So there you go. That is everything in the big pocket. Oh, no, that's not true. There's a little pocket in the big pocket. Pocketception. Huh? You like pockets? I got a pocket for your pocket. Buddy, this is also the perfect size pocket because it is half the size of an A4 piece of paper, which means that when I have something I write up that I want to keep for later, I feel like I should do that thing where I neatly lay out all the things I pull out. This is what trendy people do, except trendy people have far less sticky crap on their things. I need to wipe that. <laughs> this is disgusting. What is wrong with me? This is why we can't have nice things. I feel like I need to change shirts. Give me a second. <sighs> okay. That's definitely much more fitting for this video. All right, so that's that pocket officially done. Let's move on to the next pocket. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Another shirt. This, oh, this is the, uh, I really like the way that turned out shirt. Yeah. I really like the way that turned. That, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> this is what I call the messy pocket because it's 
messy. This is just where I put the, the crap that I don't want to scratch the other things in my bag. So this is the plug system for the uh, Canvas Pro 13. This is the plug for the laptop. This stuff is too messy to go in my neat little trendy thing. So I'll just have a messy pile over there. There you go. Computer mouse, always important to have when you're working on the go. Wait, this is neat enough to, there we go, okay. And we have the pen hat. Now this thing is slightly an invention of my own. It is actually the uh, stand of an Aphex microphone, a USB microphone I bought about four or five years ago with this extra fitting on top, turns it into a little tripod that I fit two little attachments on top of here. The top one being a selfie stick attachment that I stole off of a cheap selfie stick. And then this other little just crappy, just, hinged thing I got off of eBay, combine into a portable mix of both a selfie stick so that if I have my phone on the go, because I have a vlog channel, I can just sort of do that and just have that little bit of extra distance. So I can set it up in a hotel room if I'm vlogging and then just do some talk to camera stuff. It is really useful both because it's, you know, you can balance it anywhere and put it wherever, but also because it folds away. So that's that pocket. Then we have this front one. So just, <laughs> I, I, uh, I carry a lot of shirts. Hey, look, they come in a variety of colors too. <sighs> I'm turning into Jake Paul, aren't I? <laughs> so I'm gonna call, what, what are the compartments where we have the big compartment, the messy compartment. I'm gonna call this one the utility compartment. Starting off with this thing. Uh, this is a little Rode Smart Lab, and this is super useful. The most useful cases for this are when I'm at, the, at an expo or on an airplane, because I just literally plug it into my phone and then I have an immediate direct way to pick up audio that doesn't pick up all the ambient noise around me. So it's really useful for vlogging. And it's also really useful if I want to just capture audio maybe of an interview or something and I haven't got all my gear with me. It's actually a really decent little thing to just have and carry around. So I always have that with me in my utility pocket. Oh, I gotta add it to my add it to my little little trendy setup there. There we go. Power bank, little battery thing. This one's a really good one because it has different USB ports. And then we go on to the very exciting category of cables, which I have a lot of. Starting off with this uh, this little USB hub. Oh 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 oh! Wait, I feel like I need the Tetris theme music to play under this. Then I have a USB C to USB C cable for extra fast transfers when I use my mini portable hard drive. This thing is a uh, 250 gig SSD. It's a really, really fast transfer and just good quality one to take on the go because it's super small and great. And that one I use USB-C to USB-C because when I use it, I usually need to move files around quickly. Look at this. My layout's going really well so far. This is messy. Go away. Shoot. Then there's one more cable, which is USB to USB. I don't know what this is. It's like micro USB plus a mutant growth on the side, but it's the only one that works for my bigger hard drive. I think this is a uh, one or two terabyte. So when I have bigger chunks of files to store, that's the one I store it on. Why not just have one hard drive? Because I find myself in different scenarios all the time when I either need a lot of hard drive space or a really quick transfer because I'm literally on the go and transferring files before I'm about to get onto a flight or start editing a video. It's a, it's a really like, this has literally been shaped over years because I can't have too many things with me, but this is actually not overfilled. I utilize all of these elements in different ways all the time. Then we move on to the last dregs of the utility compartment. Headphones, wired headphones, and then Bluetooth headphones because usually when I have my bag with me, I'm traveling and sometimes I like to go for a jog or just have my phone in my pocket without the dangles. And a smudge guard, which is obviously what I use when I draw on my tablet. Oh, and there's one more thing in this, and that is my little variety of business cards. Jazza from Jazza Studios. Pleasure to meet you, mate. Take my freaking card and call me. I'm an adult. A business card for networking. <laughs> Did I just snot on the table? <laughs> I definitely just snotted on the table. Oh, it's all right. I have a second roll of toilet paper. I got the important things on my desk. Do you want me to do a desk tour sometime? That's a good video, right? I probably have lots of t-shirts in my desk. <laughs> God damn it. That is how I like to hand over business cards. I like to do the flip nice and suave and then snot on them. That way they remember you. That's a business tactic. <laughs> then at the next boardroom meeting when they're all sitting around thinking, who do we use for this corporate gig? Oh, that Jazza guy, he's got great business cards and he snotted on me that one time. That's why I remember him. See? Tactics. We're nearly done, but we're not done yet. This is nearly always empty, but every now and then I need to shove things in and go. The very back pocket has a special little compartment for this. This is the Hueyon. Oops, I dropped my 
headphones and messed up my symmetry. Oh, come on. This is important. It just looks so messy now. Whatever. This is the Huion H640P tablet. This is a pad tablet. I bet you're wondering, why do I have the two tablets? That's a very good question. That thing is really useful and much more comfortable for long-term use. However, this thing is a little beast for on-the-go work. And I find it so useful to have when I'm on an airplane or in a place where I don't have the space for the two monitors and to really spread out and just set into the work. And also if I don't have much time. I made a thumbnail just last week with this thing when I was doing a panel in Brisbane. It's just really useful to have a crack out, get some work done, put it away. And it's really lightweight, durable, and just awesome. Then finally, in the top of my bag, I have, oh, oh, ah, 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 there we go. Can't miss this one out. This is a staple of the channel. Go check out the link in the description. All right. Sorry, there's another one. I like to uh, stay on brand wherever I am. Oh, <laughs> I mean, you know, they're staying on brand, but then they're staying on brand in style with a variety of colors. Different sizes available too. <laughs> this is awkward. I guess you could say I'm obnoxious but consistent. Is that the fourth wink I've given to the camera? Probably. That's okay. Because I'm obnoxious. Moving on. Oh, I'm a dickhead. Ah, yes, it's messy again. Poor, poor ointment for when you got whoopsies on your lipsies. Something about aeroplane conditioning. This comes in very useful. Oh, and when your balls get that thing where the And then the last few things are a couple of your USB flash drives. Again, sometimes super speed and big space doesn't even matter because you just need a tiny little thing to transfer your pictures of panda bears to someone sitting next to you on a bus. That's the only use I've ever had for these. This is hunger reducing chewing gum. Again, very specific and a need I have needed filled on more than one occasion when I'm at a convention, when I'm speaking at something. Usually when I have that bag with me, I'm running around like an idiot to an airport or blah, blah, blah. And of course I try and keep hydrated and eat as I go, but sometimes you don't have time to stop and eat a hot dog. No matter how many times you try and explain to people around you, I need to go find a hot dog. I've learned that that is sometimes socially inappropriate. So I literally just pop one of these, have a bit of chewing gum and try and settle me tummy for another hour and a half to, so I can get by until I can find a hot dog vendor. That's pretty much it. This is this is the whole thing. I feel like that looks pretty impressive. Got the trendy thing happening. I am going to add one wild card in and that is actually this. This is the Oculus Go. Now obviously it doesn't fit in my bag and again this isn't sponsored or anything but I'm finding myself carrying this thing around with me all the time. Now not in the bag but I find I hang it from my bag and I use it with my carry-on. So whenever I go on an aeroplane I have this this whole thing, the whole bag slung around my shoulder, and then I also have this just by my side. It seems a bit random. I feel like part of me deep down is sort of like saying to the world around me, virtual reality, it's coming. You see me carrying this? You'll have one in five years. You, you just watch, right? And also the fact that it's self-contained and it's really polished and really high quality. I use it quite often when I'm traveling. I actually have projects I'm working on in it and I feel really nice with it with me. I'm just throwing that in there because I carry it with me and it's cool. Now I know this isn't specifically an art themed video, but it's a me themed video. And this is how I run this operation, this channel on the go. I've edited videos on the go. I've done thumbnails. I've worked on emails and projects and sponsorships and artwork, recorded videos, all this stuff on the go. This keeps my life moving. It allows me to work on upcoming things such as shirt designs, like the sketch I showed you when I'm in the middle of something or when I just have that split second. This is the setup that allows me to utilize every second of my time as good as possible and be a productivity powerhouse. That's everything I use. I think there's, there aren't in many other ways for me to wrap up this video other than to say... That's me. That's what, that's what I'm about. Been a bit on the nose with the shirts of this video. I'm a little bit excited with the new design and the new colors and I am planning on doing more. So if you have any suggestions for future shirt design ideas, let me know. And of course, if you get your orders in now, they should arrive before Christmas. So go check them out. They're a support to the channel and I hope this video has been a support to you. Thank you for watching. Like it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Draw the Jazz for more fun with art, shenanigans and occasional obnoxious plugs. I'm nothing if not obnoxious, but that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching and until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza.
That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.